Welcome dear viewers. VP Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump clashed in their most memorable discussion in Philadelphia Tuesday night. Harris gave a strong appearance all through the discussion, frequently prodding and teasing Trump into reactions that were in some cases meandering aimlessly and off-subject. While Trump made some pointed economic arguments and appeared focused at the beginning of the debate, he became clearly more irritated over time, prompting him to revisit some of his tried and true talking points rather than presenting his policy platform. As of September 10, 2024, surveying midpoints totaled by site Real Clear Surveying show a razor-thin lead for Kamala Harris in landmark states in front of the U.S. official political race in November. Vote-based competitor Harris drove her adversary, previous President Donald Trump, by 0.2 rate focuses, conveying, at this point, the provinces of Nevada, Wisconsin and Michigan. In the two extraordinary lakes expresses, Harris's lead was upwards of one rate point as of the most recent information. In the meantime, Donald Trump was ahead in Georgia, North Carolina and Arizona, driving the last option state with an edge of more than one rate point. Significant milestone Pennsylvania was evaluated as a tie by Real Clear Surveying, which is huge on the grounds that the state has 19 constituent votes, the most out of the seven thought about most beset in the impending political race. Harris drove in states that have a sum of 21 electing votes, while Trump was the past forerunner in state with 43 electing votes, showing that Harris' general lead probably won't work out emphatically, at any rate on the off chance that she doesn't wind up conveying Pennsylvania. The source also calculates how many electoral votes are expected to come from states that typically vote Republican or Democratic and likely or leaning Democratic in the 2024 election. Here, Harris has 208 expected votes while Trump has 219. Harris would hence need to convey somewhat a greater amount of landmark votes, which in this computation incorporate an extra 13 from Virginia, 4 from New Hampshire, and 1 from Nebraska's subsequent locale. The state permits its constituent votes to be separated between up-and-comers. In any case, Trump has a larger number of constituent votes coming from states just inclining conservative and not a generally protected to cast a ballot conservative, including 70 from Florida and Texas. In the meantime, Harris just has 17 appointed school votes evaluated accordingly, coming from Maine, Minnesota and New Mexico. Just 93 votes are viewed as very okay for Trump, inverse 139 for Harris.